All right, so for the people watching this video right now, I'm about to make this really convenient for you. If at any point during this video, you find the thought, you know what, he might be a bit right. If you find that thought crossing your mind, I'm gonna put links in the description. People watching this on PC, there's links in the description, the devs of this game, you know, a few devs I've picked out. Copy the link to this video, send it straight to them, and say, hey, this guy's right. If you're watching this on mobile, you know, I want you to press the screen like you would go to pause it, but you see that little arrow that's pointing to the right? I want you to click that, go to Twitter and send this to them. I've tried to reach out. I've tried to say, hey, out of respect for you and respect for your game, this is broken, please fix it. I was simply told you're wrong. They have every right to do that. And you know, I'm not mad that they did do that. I'm more upset that this undeniable presence of people saying the same exact thing as me about the same exact things in their game and they refuse to do anything about it. That's what's more frustrating about any of this. If you haven't seen my first video about this subject, I recommend watching it. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. You don't need to watch it before you watch this one. You can watch this one without having any knowledge of that. The reason I recommend it is because when I watch the video, I listen to my points, then I go into the comments and see that everyone's saying the exact same thing. I just think to myself, I have never been more right about this. And it kind of gets old saying this, but PC players, I'm not talking to you. This game was created on your platform. It was literally made and balanced on PC and then simply ported to console. Now, if there's anyone that thinks that will work is uh, like, what? Let's take aiming for instance. You know, I'm in my 11th year of playing shooters and practicing with joysticks. I would consider myself pretty damn good at aiming, uh, but any PC player could kick my ass at aiming. Like, I, I think that's just a fact. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not our fault. It's just the nature of the platform. So obviously there's going to be problems if you create and balance a game on PC and then port it to console. That's not going to work. That will never work. And I'm not trying to be one of those guys just waving an angry fist saying, if you don't fix this, I'm going to quit the... I've quit the division. I'm done with the division for now. If they decide they hey, they want to fix it on console, they want to save their fucking console community, I will give a shit and I will come back. You know, I've tried it. I've tried the new update and it's the same shit. And I want this to take me into my first point. I want to talk about Seeker Minds. And before anyone jumps to conclusions, I don't think Seeker Minds are OP. I hear a lot of PC players saying the same thing. You know, they're in a good spot. They're, you know, pretty balanced. But a lot of console players, you know, they, they're pretty pissed off about it because they don't seem balanced at all. Now, for me, I'm in a pretty weird spot and probably not a favorite opinion. I think they're fine. I just think they're too convenient to use. I'm gonna compare this to PC again real quick. Anything involving aim on PC will generally have more value. Like, you know, hip firing and, you know, aiming, ADS, whatever you want, face trading. It generally has more value on PC because the nature of the platform, you know, you're it's easier to aim on PC. That's not really, that's kind of a fact. But when you take that play style and you directly port that to console, it's gonna lose value because nature of the platform, it, you know, it's harder to aim on console it's gonna lose a lot of value. Seeker Mines have nothing to do with aim. You put that ability down and it chases kills down. That was made and designed on PC. It has its value, but it has nothing to do with aim. When you port that to console, it loses no value whatsoever. Now you're fighting in an environment where Seeker Mines have more value than they should because of the platform. I don't want it to be another 1.5 sticky bomb situation. That shit was literally not even viable. I don't think they need to get nerfed into the ground. I just think we need to see some rebalancing elsewhere. You know, cough, cough, hip fire. Hip fire is in a horrible place right now. I've heard PC players bitching about it. Like it was borderline unviable on PC. So like when you port that to console and it loses even more value, like what's the point in having it in the game? You know, I get countless people saying hip fire works. I'm able to hip fire. That's the problem. It takes literally no skill. You can be touching someone and sometimes land a bullet. It's actually laughable. You know, just because I have my pistol out and shooting someone, hey, bullets are hitting, but it's not a viable source of damage. It's not a viable play style. So for those that think that Hipfire has gotten better on console, no, it has gotten easier on console. They decided to nerf accuracy again after 1.5, and then also on top of that, nerf accuracy while you're moving, which is kind of the point of Hipfire in the first place. The accuracy on Hipfire is so bad now that if you're not touching someone, you like you're rolling the dice every bullet you fire. Which universe is this bullet gonna go to? And that's what I'm saying, it's gotten easier. The reticle's so fucking big now that it's kinda hard not to have an agent inside of it. It's pretty obvious I'm passionate about hipfire. Like, I need hipfire to be good before I'm coming back to this game. And it's not like it was some broken
broken mechanic that everyone used and everyone exploited. Maybe on PC it was, but I'm not talking about PC. On console, there was a select few players that took the time to get good at hip fire. And if they did, they would outplay flame turrets. You know, flame turrets of 1.5 were the 1.6 seekers. Took very little skill to use them. They did all the aiming, they did all the damage, and they yielded high reward. The difference is in 1.5, if there was a hip fire player and he was good with it, he would outplay that flame turret because he actually had to put in more effort so he got more reward for it. That doesn't make hip fire OP. Everything has a different skill cap. Everything has a different amount of effort you got to put in. Bringing everything to the same level regardless of effort, regardless of skill cap is not balanced. It is the exact opposite of balanced and that is exactly what they've done in 1.6. If I'm going to play a certain way and that's going to require more skill out of me, I should get more reward than something that's going to take less skill. That seems obvious but that is not what is in the game right now. So I feel the need to explain this. So if anyone from Massive is watching this, that is my biggest, that is my main point. I'm not telling you to change it because it's convenient for me. I'm telling you to change it because I have this opinion that I feel strongly about this game. You know, I'm not an idiot when it comes to games. I have an idea of what balanced is and I have a lot of people supporting me. A lot of people behind me saying, this guy's right. So I'm telling you right now, if you wanna save console, fix hip fire. Take it back to 1.5. Don't nerf seekers into the ground what everyone's screaming at you to do. Don't nerf them. They're in a good place, I'm telling you. Don't nerf them into the ground. Fix hip fire. Give them that tool that says, "Hey, go out and figure out how to do this and come back and beat these seeker mind players." That is how you're going to save your console community. A lot of people on console are under the impression you don't give a shit about us. Now is your time to prove them wrong. My name is Jed and thank you for listening. Peace out everybody.